I am Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Nancy Doobie from Doobie Consulting. Now she's going to talk to us about the vast, wide world of HR, <laughs> human resources. Away. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you so much for having me. You know, this is great. You have an exciting, exciting field, human resources. It, it really touches on so many things. So what was your journey into that field of human resources? Sure. Um, out of college, I was a retail store manager, went to work for the State Employment Service for state government, and learned about interviewing and um, job development and how to find quality people and position them and get them ready for work. Through that, I jump-started my career into um, human resources. Uh, the laws were such back then, they didn't have family and medical leave, and I had a child, and we didn't have a law that protected us mm -hmm. like we do today. And so I left and um, became an HR manager at a very small company and stayed there for about five years mm -hmm. and then um, went on to a bigger uh, firm and so on and so forth. And so if a small business were, uh, well, who do you deal with, I guess? It's small businesses, large businesses? I mean, very large companies have vast amounts of people in their human resources department. Correct. Um, so being self-employed, I outsource myself to small businesses, them to put structure into their business, to help them stay in compliance with the laws, to treat people equally and fairly throughout. Mm -hmm. um, those are three predominant reasons. Yeah. Um, when someone, when do you suggest that someone look at a consultant? I mean, the minute they open their door, a year in, five days in, what, or, what I, or what I should say is, when do most people hire one? Do they hire one when they're in trouble? <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. They wait until they have a problem and then they call. Oftentimes that's too late. They should be more proactive and not wait until they have a problem. They should be thinking, maybe I have three employees, maybe I have five employees, maybe I have a scenario going on and I just want to check. It's very expensive to call your lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can use um, an HR consultant as an HR hotline. You can pick up the phone and call. If you have a particular concern, something Correct. had come up and you, know, and you need to say, okay, how, can you give me clarification on this or where can I go to find this or do I absolutely need this? I get those kind of calls all the time. Well, everything's changing all the time. I mean, like you said, you could have a, 10 employees, now you get 11. You know what I mean? Or whatever, 11, you get 12, right. wherever, it's, you know, wherever that cutoff is. Or maybe you, you want to add a position. You know, now you need a new job description. Exactly. What does that and mean? Th and then you have to figure out how, to, what's the best route to recruit that position. Um, should you be putting an ad in the newspaper? Should you be um, going to Monster? Uh, yeah. Oh, and how would you, you use so that's something you would do. You I would do help that as well. So just explain a, a little bit about that process. Sure. Um, I recently um, helped an employer to hire a new salesperson. Um, he had a situation where um, an employee is going out on maternity leave and he knew he was going to need um, another salesperson to support the organization and help him grow, but mm -hmm. also to cover the leave. Mm -hmm. So we developed a job description. We um, used LinkedIn and a few other resources. So that's a social networking site, LinkedIn, Correct. for those who don't know. Most people it's do, though. Yeah. a business uh, social yeah. networking site with 160 million um, members. Mm -hmm. It's a very effective tool because um, it helps recruiters to source strong candidates. They can look at their backgrounds and... Um, yeah, because you have a picture, you have a background, you can leave notes, and then other people can uh, recommend uh, what you... Yeah, I'm on LinkedIn, yes. so... Yes, Well, and many people are, I'm sure. Yeah. So um, I helped them to um, develop the job posting, um, and then I developed a series of questions for them to help them to interview... During the interview process? To help them to interview, because, I mean, he was just going from gut, mm -hmm. and he didn't really know how to interview. And asking the same questions to all your candidates is very valuable. Mm -hmm. And then watching their body language and watching how they respond to you um, is also very valuable. Yeah. You can weed out a lot um, through a simple phone screen mm -hmm. um, and really limit the time that you're spending interviewing candidates. Yeah. And, and the idea is to, to, and the idea of the interview process is to find a good match Correct. between yourself and that person. Correct. Yeah. 
um, always looking for that ideal match. And then I help them to extend an offer to the candidate. We talked about whether or not we needed to quarry check or do mm -hmm. a pre-employment physical mm -hmm. um, and balancing that. And then what's the right onboarding process for them? Mm -hmm. um, how do we help them to, um, to start? Do we just bring them in and have them sit next to another employee and shadow them? Mm -hmm. Or do we put them through some sort of a formal training period? Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. paperwork do they need to fill out when they come on board? So I guided them through this process. And not everybody does all parts of the process that you were talking about. I mean, some Correct. businesses are much simpler, and they don't need to quite do all of that. But it's available to Correct. them. You have the expertise in that so that it, that spectrum is available should they need it. Correct. And I would assume that would depend upon the position. It most definitely does. But anyway, how would someone get in touch with you, Nancy? Um, on my website, it's one way, www.dubieconsulting.com, or they can call me at... 508-769-2294. So, so they can call you and or they can check you out on the web and uh, email you and get some information on the services that you provide right. uh, for a small business. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a great it's been interview. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I am Ramona and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.